In this tutorial, we're going to be, ta be taking a look at piecework. And piecework means that a worker is paid for the amount of work accomplished or done. Uh, typically, it's a rate of pay earned for the number of items produced or made or even sold. Okay, so that's, that's what piecework is. You're paid for what you actually do. And so here's a scenario on the first page here. You're applying for a job where you would be assembling laptop computers. And you'll be paid by piecework. What would be some good questions to ask during an interview regarding how you will be paid? And in an interview, there's nothing wrong with asking how much you're going to be paid. Some people are tentative to do that, but that's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with, with asking that. So first of all, uh, you could ask, what is the pay per computer assembled? How much are you going to pay getting paid for each one you do? What is the typical number of computers an employee can assemble per hour? So uh, this will give you uh, uh, an idea how much you're how much you're earning in a certain amount of time. There's a big difference between if you could assemble two in an hour or you can assemble ten in an hour. And what number of hours per day and how many days per week would I be working? That's uh, that's another good question to ask because again, if you're only working a couple days a week, it's a big difference than working five days a week or six days a week. A couple of examples on the second page about piecework here. Uh, Eddie works at a ballpark selling hot dogs at a ball game. He gets paid $30 plus 50 cents per hot dog he sells. How much does Eddie earn when he sells 83 hot dogs at a ball game? So he's getting 50 cents for every one of these 83 hot dogs. So, I mean, you could go 50 cents plus... 50 cents 83 times but of course that's that'd be kind of long to do that and that's why we have multiplication uh, so it's really 50 cents times uh, 83 because you're doing those get rid of that zero so he is he's getting paid 41.5 dollars or 41 dollars and 50 cents for the hot dogs so that's the first thing that we're going to do here multiply the uh, the amount he's getting paid for every hot dog he sells by the number so that works out to 41.5 or $41.50 and then he gets earned 30 he earns $30 above that okay that's sort of his base pay even if he didn't sell any hot dogs that he get $30 of course if he wasn't selling any they wouldn't keep him on selling hot dogs for very long but uh, that's that's a base pay he gets so we take that $30 and add it to the 41.50 and so he's making $71.5 or $71.50 during the ball game. In the second example here, Tom builds lawn chairs. He's paid $40 per chair that he makes. So on Monday, he builds three chairs. How much does he make working on Monday? So we could go 40 plus 40 plus 40 three times, uh, but that's the same as 40 multiplied by three. Uh, so $120 is what he's going to be paid for working on Monday. In the second part, Tom averages building four chairs per day. So he's actually building a little bit more than he did on this Monday. Maybe that was his first day. So he's averaging building four chairs per day. How much will he earn in a week? And it says working five days. So he's building four chairs one day, four chairs the next, four chairs the next, four chairs the next, four chairs on the fifth day. So the number of chairs he's going to build we would multiply four by five. So he's going to build 20 chairs. Now, each of these 20 chairs, he's being paid $40. So again, we could go 40 plus 40 plus 40 20 times, or that's the same as 20 times 40, $40, which is $800. So in a week, he would earn $800. The last question asks, how much does he earn in a year? So, he's getting 800 per week for 52 weeks if he works uh, every every week of the year. So that's the assumption. Of course, if you're told that he gets a two-week vacation, so he's only working 50, then we would multiply by 50. So 800 times 52 is $41,600. So that's how much you'd be making per year. And that's the end of the tutorial.